So here are the components I'm going to do tonight. There's a series of half inch black pipe and quarter inch black pipe for the small speaker hangers and the half inches for the shelves. Now you could buy some bluing compounds. I checked with that. That was going to be, you know, probably a you know close to 60 70 80 dollars just to get the material here um the chemical here shipping was as much as the material itself so first step is going to be to degrease tsp and acetone just degrease all the components got my rubber gloves there second step is going to be like five minutes of each component you know five minutes in the vinegar white vinegar this is a six percent solution it was the strongest i could get at the store the grocery store and then once it's pickled then i will rinse and then go with a like two, two cups of hydrogen peroxide and two teaspoons of salt solution kind of mix that up and then i'll show you we'll be rusting the components and then we'll dip them in the boiling water i'm using my coleman camping pots so i don't uh, get in trouble with my wife for using her nice pots we'll see how it goes so i'm just soaking them in tsp water solution right now um, and i used the toothbrush and paid close attention brushed the the uh, threads as much as i could I'd paid um yeah spent some time brushing the threads out because on the other ones the threads didn't seem to to, to rust or oxide um, nearly as much so they may not have been degreased as well as they should have been so you know tsp first then i'll rinse all this up um get the tsp out and touch them up with some acetone and then then i'll go to the the pickling but um just one note of caution with the vinegar and the hydrogen peroxide do not mix you don't want to get those two together um, that that creates some fumes you don't want to be around so uh, be careful there just keep those separate rinse well after the pickling um, so you don't get it mixed with the hydrogen peroxide and here's how I'm pickling these I've got the six percent white vinegar Multi-purpose vinegar. I wrapped the paper towels around all the long pieces because they wouldn't fit in the pan. Just let them soak for five or ten minutes. Everything else is in the bucket and the pot, just soaking. Now I cleaned up. I soaked the, rinsed the the vinegar off in just clean clean tap water. Um, they're starting to rust already, which is good. Some of them have the little black blackening already on them. Uh, so I'm not sure what that is. Um, but yeah, cleaned up all the vinegar, got it out of the way so it doesn't cross with the uh, hydrogen peroxide. But I'll um, get this pot boiling. Because part of the process is to you alternate between the hydrogen peroxide salt solution, rusting the parts, and then you boil them in hot water. And then you repeat that you know four or five times we'll see that now i'm mixing up my hydrogen peroxide and salt solution i got two or a half a cup of i got one cup of hydrogen peroxide and two um teaspoons almost of salt you don't need a whole lot of salt and it's not that critical it's just um it's helps the elect the electrons <laughs> flow during the in, in the corrosion all right here's my solution already acting on the the iron pipe it's, it's a pretty quick process i'm kind of out of room i wish i had more room but i'll get to all the surfaces coated eventually But this just gives you an idea of what, what it's like, what it looks like. And these that are already kind of black, I don't really care if they rust because they're already black. I will get the threads. So 
We'll figure out what's on those right already. I guess maybe they've already been through a blackening, black oxide process. Who knows? I'm not a chemist. So you can start to watch it rust right in front of your eyes. Rusting for a few minutes, the water is getting ready to boil. I've got my iron oxide creating, and I'm trying to turn it into magnetite. So, here we go. I'm gonna dump, start dumping these into the boiling water. And then this is the process that we'll repeat three or four times, five times. See how it works out. So that's kind of keep doing this. Here we go. We got a pot of boiling water now, and some oxidizing parts. Whoa. So while these are still hot, I'm going to put some more peroxide on them and let's see what it, what it does while they're hot. It's immediate rusting. So, I won't, won't show all of it, but I'll go through this a couple more times and see what it looks like. I'm on the second round now. I had to remix some hydrogen peroxide salt solution because it was losing its effectiveness. The reaction was um, using up all the chemicals. So, um, Taking my clean solution, going through it again. Some of these I want more than others because they'll be more exposed in the basement. Some of them will be kind of hidden, so I'm not too concerned too much about the long pipes because they'll be underneath the shelf. But these other ones will be exposed. So I'm just making sure they're well coated all the caps will be exposed pretty well so I'm going to put, put them all in here Did that. See, these flanges will be exposed they're already dusting quite a bit these elbows will be exposed So. All right, we're going to pop them into boiling water again. So this is coming out of round two. So they're starting to look pretty black. Uh, I think maybe another, just a third, no more than a fourth would be fine. So I'm going to do this process again. So you start dropping them in the, in the solution and working my way through the through the pile. Do this one more time. While they're still warm. 
What you don't want to do is drop a metal flange on your wife's glass cooktop. That would not be good for this whole project. So I'm going to keep doing this. I need two hands. And this will be the last rinse. I actually just dump peroxide straight onto those things and let them react. When I, with the alpha salt, it may not be as, as effective, but you know, just letting it, let it do its thing before I do one final rinse. I'll clean all this up. That's what the rocks that looks like with all the iron in the bottom. Whatever it is. Well, it's quite the process. Now it's cleanup time. I'm going to take these down and when they dry, I'm going to coat them with uh, boiled linseed oil because they're going into the basement and they'll be, I think they'll look really good. So we've got the boiled linseed oil and rags and toothbrush to get down in the cracks and crevices and I'll coat it and then I'll wipe it off get it use the brush to get down in all the cracks and crevices down and everything just you just want to leave a thin layer that's all you want to do just leave a thin layer Actually, take off as much as you can get off with a you know, rag. Rag is not, you know, soaked, but just keep wiping it off. Because whatever soaks into the oxide is what's going to protect the the um, parts. So they're not too far from black to be start with, but you put the oil on them, and that blackens them up. So that's that's pretty much it. When we do that, I'm gonna take the rag and you know wipe them down best I can with one hand. And I'll show you what they look like. You know, wipe it down better than that, but. So I'll get get all sides but you want it protected there you go. enjoy it was a process it took a long time it took a whole lot longer than i thought um a lot of parts and i guess i'll do the same thing with those maybe not quite a few parts i don't know if i'll need to do the long pieces but um we'll see we'll see how these turn out there you go Cheers. Okay, finished product. All these are shelf and speaker, speaker shelf brackets and um, floating shelf bracket and speaker brackets. All of them. Um, very nice, I think. Tough process, took a long time, but it turned out really well. The black, the threads, it's, you know, the the black oxide is down in the threads. Um, worked out very well. So these, these little ones, if you can imagine this, my Klipsch speaker sitting upside down with a hole drilled through the pipe going into the quarter inch, quarter 20 thread there in the back of the speaker. That's going to be hanging from the ceiling right here. So 